Hi, I'm Zoe Lem, stylist and owner of My Sugarland, and today I'm going to give you some insider's tips on how to do fashion. So I'm now going to show you how to choose a halter neck dress. So, it really depends on what body shape you are with a halter neck dress. If you're pear shaped, you actually shouldn't wear one. Um, it's going to completely imbalance, and you're, if you're up pear shaped, you've got bigger hips. If you do a halter neck, it's going to make you look more pear shaped. So it's not a great shape for you. You could go for a halter neck if you then wear something over the shoulders and you balance it back out with, with something here. But if not, if you're going to be taking off your jacket, leave it. Go for another shape. If you can wear a, a halter neck dress, if you're hourglassed or more straight up and down, then you need to, again, work with your shape. If you're bigger busted, you need to go for something that flatters here. It needs to still be quite nipped in. So the panel on this is still flattering over the bust. If you go for something that glides out from above the bust, it's just going to make you look very tenty and really, really um, pear-shaped. So fitted here, a nice shape here. Um, a lot of halter neck dresses are quite loose around the bust. So again, flattering, flattering, whatever the shape is. So basic principles is just it's tied around the neck. And then the bottom half, depending on how big you are through the hips and how you're balancing it out on top as to how A-line. If you're bigger through this area, then you want to keep it a little bit looser, not tenty and not maternity, but so that it glides over. If you're um, quite straight up and down and nipped in through the hips, you could go more fitted. So it could be a pencil shaped dress, but it's just that it ties around the neck. So, Halter neck dress just ties here. All the basic principles of choosing any other dress, but just how the neck ties. And again, balance, most important thing.